How's it going, Mosh Pit? I got a hell of an Ubers game for you against someone by the name of uh, Muck Harry Rules. As you can see, we got Weather Wars going on. Uh, not necessarily him having a, uh, a full weather team, but as long as that Kyogre's there, that's going to be the thing I'm going to want to take out first because that will literally put a damper on uh, my performance in this game. But I'm going to go ahead and lead with Kyogre to get my weather up ASAP in order to draw out the, uh, the Kyogre as soon as possible. So I'm actually going to go ahead and switch out on the first turn after that I don't want to set up rocks just yet um, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Ho-Oh -Oh. this is a uh, regenerator Ho-Oh -Oh. I asked him beforehand he was okay with it and uh, he's gonna go ahead and set up the drizzle which is great because I did want this thing out I'm gonna go for the brave bird as well see how much damage it does see what kind of build he is I'm faster so he's bulky but I had a critical hit which I'm under the impression that it definitely did matter if he's running a uh, max HP max defense set but now that means I really don't have to worry about the weather war as much at all. I mean, especially since it's down on the, uh, what was that, second, third turn, something like that. So right off the bat, I have the weather going for me as soon as Gradon comes in, and that's going to be fantastic. But uh, Darkrai comes in, puts me to sleep. I'd rather have this thing asleep than anything else just because I do have Regenerator. And um, I can easily force out Ferrothorn with just about anything else I have on my team. I do have a lot of fire things, so he's going to be scared out by a decent portion of my team. Uh, I'm going to switch out to Blaziken predicting the uh, Dark Pulse, which does happen. I take a little chunk from it, but, you know, I'm going to get my speed boost at the end of the turn or now when I decide to protect, which is okay. But uh, he goes into Giratina. I have yet to put Shadow Claw on this Blaziken because I've been using it in Ubers. So Shadow Claw over Stonehenge will be nice. I'll have to, have a, I'll have to find a different way to handle uh, Ho-Oh and Rayquaza. But Giratina loves to come in on Blaziken and just force me out. So I can't do anything with Blaziken until that Giratina is gone. But he's going to go ahead and set up a sub on the switch because he knows I can't really do much to him anyway. He'd probably be able to set up a sub regardless of what I hit him with. But uh, this Groudon is max HP, max defense. So even though he does go for the Shadow Force, which is stab and all that stuff, not going to do a terrible amount because it's not super effective. And uh, I'm going to be able to squeak off a Dragon Claw on him, you know, get some damage. Thankfully, it's enough to break the sub. And uh, that's all I really wanted. Now, seeing sub, one would not ordinarily expect me to go for T-Wave right off the bat because he could just as easily sub again. But he actually makes a good play, you know, goes out to Ferrothorn expecting the Dragon Claw. But I paralyze the Ferrothorn instead, which is not going to be good, meaning that his Gyroballs are going to be beefed up a substantial amount, if I'm not mistaken. A paralyzed Ferrothorn is never really going to be a good thing. But I have a lot of fire types on this team, so, you know, I'm not immediately concerned with it. But since Ferrothorn's in here, I might as well switch in Ho-Oh. Uh, try to use this opportunity, you know, just in case he wants to try to set up the rocks, you know, try to wake up, roost up my health back, and, uh, you know, retaliate from there. In comes Giratina, gonna go for the Dragon Claw instead, though. Uh, he could have just as easily gone for a sub, which he does do now. Uh, I'm not looking to attack it. I'm looking to wake up and recover, which is actually what I do on this turn. Gonna go ahead and wake up, go for the roost. Thankfully, rocks aren't up, so ho is actually getting some use uh, this game, especially since when I, I switch back out, I'm gonna go ahead and regenerate all that health back. Uh, he is going to go for the Shadow Force right here. Uh, looking at how much it did to Groudon, I have no problem switching it in again, you know, just like that. Uh, I could have just stayed in and roosted again, but, um, you know, having Ho-Oh at full health is probably going to be the better thing. I don't know how well I'd be taking that Shadow Force anyway, since I do have a good Spec D, but not a good, uh, well, an inferior physical defense. Groudon, Groudon would be taking the hits better, so not too worried about it. Anyway, he's going to go for the Dragon Claw from behind the sub. I decided to go for the uh, Dragon Claw right here to break the sub. I don't really care if Groudon's gone as long as Giratina doesn't have a sub up by the time it is. So, I'm at a decent chunk of health. If he went for a Shadow Force right here, he probably could have taken me out. Uh, maybe he didn't want to risk the extra turn of lefties and, you know, he uh, I would have lived that. Uh, I guess that seemed like a pretty safe play in that moment. But uh, subs down, might as well take advantage, you know, uh, I'm actually going to go for the Sacred Fire here to try to burn that Giratina to prevent it from doing anything else, but in comes Ferrothorn instead to try to take the, uh, the Brave Bird, nope, that thing is as roasted as roasted is going to get, that's a Sun Boosted Sacred Fire, Adamant, Life Orb, you name it, Ho-Oh's got it, Max Power, that thing's dead. So, Dark Ray comes in again, going to put me to sleep again. Uh, not really minding since, you know, I'm closer to full health. Um, if I get like one or two sleep turns, I can burn him off, you know, hopefully take a couple hits. He doesn't really have anything super effective. I do have that nice spec D and whatnot. I don't mind staying in here for a couple turns to see how many, uh, how many sleep turns I end up pulling. So, I don't get this first wake up. Kind of expected it, but it's okay. 
Uh, also, don't really want anything else to take a dark pulse. It doesn't need to. So I'm going to stay in, you know, potentially spotter. But I live with two. And I wake up. And I get the sacred fire off. And that is one dead dark rye. Just unbelievable clutch there, ho. -Oh. You know, you created the Kyogre. You took out the dark rye. And uh, you took out the Ferrothorn as well. So I want to say MVP goes to Twinkie this match. For sure. Guaranteed. Anyways, I see a Dialga and I'm like, all right, this is a Specs Reshiram. Let's go ahead and clean house. You know, I'm going to lock myself in on Blue Flare and we're going to have a good time, except for the fact that he scarfed and he takes me out with an Art Rage. So I look like a fool right now because uh, he's locked in on that. Easily going to take me out. Don't really know why he's... Uh Actually, not really necessarily don't know why he's anything. I was going to say, I don't know why he's physical, but, you know, Scarf Dialga does catch people off guard, so it's not a terrible option, especially in this scenario. Uh, I'm going to go for a Protect with Blaziken just to generate enough speed, you know, stall out in a Outrage turn, see if he pulled a 2-turner or a 3-turner. Thankfully, he pulls a 2-turner, so I do have that confusion going for me as well. It does turn out, however, that he's still faster after one speed boost, but thankfully he hits himself, and I'm just going to go for the Flare Blitz because I am notorious... If anyone watches my videos for missing high jump kick. Flare Blitz takes it out in the sun, which is surprising. But, you know, because he hurt himself with the confusion, I would probably generate enough speed immediately after to, um, to outspeed him the next turn if it didn't take him out. So, uh, I don't mind the recoil too much. Plus, with Giratina floating around, I'm not going to be able to do too much anyway. So, I might as well go for a sun-boosted Flare Blitz. Has quite a bit of natural bulk to it in terms of HP and defensive stats. So, it doesn't quite take it out. Uh, if I had Sword Dance on the set, it probably would have, but I don't really like uh, running Sword Dance and Ubers. I'd rather have the coverage than the boost. But he figures he can live it, so he goes for a Shadow Force instead. Very good play. Seeing as how now uh, i got to switch in my Skyman, and I'm just going to go ahead and take a Shadow Force right to the face. It's actually going to go ahead and take me out, even from full health, because Giratina with Shadow Force is just ugh, unbearable. But... Game's not over yet, because I still have a Mewtwo. I got Ice Beam on this thing. I forget what his last one is at this point. So I, I'm not quite, you know, home yet. But I do have the Ice Beam. Get a useless crit right there as well. Um, I was like, you know what? I'm at full health. Uh, if it's like Darkrai or something, something I've forgotten about, then I can handle it. But it's his own Mewtwo. And I'm like, no. This is a Spade replay, if you guys saw that match. Uh, Mewtwo versus Mewtwo tends to happen to me a lot, and Psy Strike and etc. and all this crap. I'm probably going to end up losing this game just because of my luck. So he wins that first speed tie. We're just going to fire off Psy Strikes on each other because we're both the uh, Calm Minding Life Orb build, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm like, alright, i got to win the next speed tie. And he actually ends up winning this next speed tie. I'm like, shit. Okay, well I lost the game, so that's the game. But I live with four... And I'm actually able to, you know, fire off a side strike. So I'm like, all right, the best I can do is, you know, probably get him down pretty low. And I actually take him out from that range. And I take life for recoil as well. So that's a double down at the end. You know, plenty of double downs. But the one at the end means that this actually ends up being a tie. The game says I won. But for all intents and purposes, I'm going to call that a tie. It just says I won because I took him out before the life of recoil took place. But that's a tie Ubers game. You don't really see that too often. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe, do your thing. Both of our channels will be in the description as always. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.